We're at Margaritas here in uh, beautiful Collierville. And Margaritas is right behind the Baskin Robbins over here on Poplar. And I just want to show you the menu here. It's uh, got some really good stuff on here, but I'm going to show you what I get. Oh, look. La Anaconda, three foot long burrito. Really? That's amazing. In my younger days, I, I could probably eat that. Oh. Okay. Pizza. There's their fajitas, all their fajita stuff, chef specialities. They got some seafood, they got the burritos. Come on. Coming to what I'm going to get real soon here. Uh, the enchiladas here are superb, they're excellent. Uh, the desserts, hadn't had that yet. Love that. And here we come over here to the lunch specials, which are excellent. But this is what I get. <gasps> I get the uh, all-you-can-eat, build-your-own-plate. I always get the uh, cheese enchilada, a hard shell beef taco, and a chili rano, and it comes with rice and beans. So uh, <laughs> it's excellent. And for that price, come on. You'll see. So, uh, and there's margaritas right there. So if you want your... Uh, Breakfast margarita, there you go. Really? So, uh, just wanted to show you their menu. You can smell it. And uh, let's look around here. Again, we always get here early, but they get really busy around noon. There's their bar back there. Uh, it's a uh, really nice place. The, the, the service staff here is super friendly, very fast, very nice. And of course, you get your. Uh, Salsa, which is very good salsa. I like that salsa. And they have wonderful chips. And uh, thanks, sir. Thank you. Yeah, man, yeah, you can't beat it. So, uh, Whitney, what'd you get? Uh, I got chicken, no, cheese enchiladas, and a taquito. A taquito, a chicken taquito. Yep. All right, we're going to wait for our food to come out. Until then, we're going to dig into this uh, cheese dip so good. and some salsa that's not spicy, it's just right, uh, and uh, real thin chips, very thin. There you go. Yeah. Here it is. Look at this, folks. This is amazing. I love this. This is a hard shell taco and the cheese enchilada, the chili rano, and the, the rice, and I just like to smother it with this good old salsa. And uh, it, it, this is amazing. Let, let me show you. Let me show you the uh, cheese in this thing. Silly ate it. Uh, you can't. Well, yeah, there you can see it. Can you see that? <gasps> Look at that. Look at that cheese. Oh. That is really good cheese. I, I, I've really never had that kind of cheese in an enchilada before. Uh, it, it has a unique flavor that's uh, very, very appealing. So, uh, Whitney and I are going to chow down. Let me show you Whitney's. Look at that. That's uh, verde sauce. Yeah, cheese, enchiladas. And uh, that is... The taquito. Oh, the taquito. Pizza! Huh, I'm used to seeing them wound up tighter, you know, but that's, that's the first time I've seen one like that. So. We're going to chow down. They brought us some fresh chips, and uh, I'll report back to you guys. Okay, the meal is finished. Whitney finished all of her meal except uh, for the beans. The beans are, are excellent, but they're very heavy. Now, uh, I, I could barely finish mine. Uh, it, it was so much food. I, I just... Uh, I, I just couldn't finish, really? uh, folks. It's um, pretty, pretty tough. Hmm. This is what's left of the chili rano. <laughs> Get off there. Get off there. Come on. Get. <laughs> anyway, this is what's left. It's, uh, it was a bloodbath. <laughs> Fabulous. Finished it. Man, it was tough to finish. It took me about three hours to finish this meal, but uh, it was worth it. No, nah, we were here. We got here at 11. And uh, been here about 45 minutes or so, but talked to one of the managers, and they have 20 of these stores just in Tennessee. And uh, this store is now a little over two weeks old, and uh, 
Well, they started 20 years ago, uh, two cousins, <laughs> and they've done very, very well. This, this is a wonderful place. I highly recommend it. So when you see a margaritas anywhere in, in Tennessee, visit it. Great food. Highly recommend it. So, uh, unfortunately, they're not in Texas. But I'm going to tell you something. Oh, fuckers. Uh, I'd put this up there with some of the best Mexican food places in uh, Texas. Oh, no. That's saying a lot. I really hate to admit that. It kind of hurts. But this is a really good place. Highly recommend it, folks. Highly recommend it. So, anyway, that's uh, Whitney and I's uh, little uh, adventure for the restaurant review for the week. And, uh, hey, thank you for coming along with us. Wish you could have been here to enjoy the uh, chips and the dips and the, and the food. So, until next time, bye-bye, y'all. Okay, like, here you go. Really, really be careful, Dad. <laughs> How'd Joe end up in the hospital? Whoa. How, how'd he get his concussion? Golly. How in the world? It's recording, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Gang, I'm going to attempt to sit up on this high chair. This is an old man high chair. I should be able to do this. Uh, wish me luck. Somebody pray for me. I'm, I'm... Please. <laughs> 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 All right. <sighs> well, after a refreshing meal, you gotta come out here and sit in the high chair and just have a wonderful view out here of Poplar and there's the uh, uh, ice cream store. And uh, it's just a, a view up here. In fact, I'm up so high, my nose is starting to bleed. This is, a, this is high up here. So anyway, um, when you come here to this one, I don't know if they have them at the other margaritas, but try to sit up here. Anyway, I'm getting down. I survived. All right. See y'all later. <laughs>